Hey, quick little video um, using the Clue Trainer plugin. Uh, Clearmate was having some issues with it, so um, I'm just going to walk through uh, me using it a couple times. Probably go until we get like, a puzzle step or something like that. Um, but auto updates with your clues gives you the surge pathings. Like, that was pretty fluid. I didn't execute it fluidly, but like, you know, it's fucking cool. Uh, raspberry. I'm not the fastest with clues, but there we go. Then mountain. Oh, uh, that was actually a good thing to say. So there's multiple sections for a clue sometimes, particularly like these uh, gnome gliders. Um, there's a section one, section two. So for me, this is going to be Teleport Overgrown Idols, which is on my grace. And then it's going to have me talk to this guy for the thing. And then section two is once I'm there. So this is the emote step. So. Get to this guy. Loop my hidey hole. This one's going to be a panic. Go. Oh, this is my favorite one. This is Legend Skilled. Okay. Uh, this one, I don't have the Ring of Slaying teleport, so I do Fremenic. You can always see alternate teleports by just zooming out and seeing what's available. Um, so I'm going to that Fremenic Lodestone one. I think there's also a way where like, because it shows you like the surge and dive path thing for optimal uh, teleport space. I assume there's a way where you can save new ones like, um, you know, hey, I don't have ring of slaying teleport. I use lodestone. Uh, so I'm sure there's a way to like save your own path. Um, but I haven't really gotten into that. There's only a few steps that I don't have optimal stuff. So I haven't really bothered. It. Um, oh, can't laugh. Good. That's good. Oh, I like this one as well. This one, the Slayer. This one's got a cool surge path. So it's gonna be a stand right next to this guy. Kind of see, tells you this target square. And it's literally just dive surge. Okay, dive surge. And it puts you on the other side of this wall and the crate's right there. That's really a cool step. Hey, I just got this step. Too bad it wasn't back to back, but. up here. I'd like to get a slider puzzle. I got like six in a row earlier today. That was a laugh. I don't have that necklace, I just do a uh, wicked hood and then bottom floor. Oh, well, it looks like your seven's also available. That's pretty funny. I think it's this bookcase. Cool. Uh, this one I also don't have the optimal teleport for. I have Eagle's Peak, which is just a bit north. So. That still works out pretty good though. I think I technically have an extra inventory slot. I should slot in those dragon trinkets because I have quite a few. Oh well.
this one is a 1 3. I don't remember this. I have to add it language. Uh, weird. Okay. So I go here and then search. Sick. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Uh, I just got that one. Come on. I want a puzzle one. Dead. Uh, this teleport I don't have. I do Castle Wars instead. I don't have Dave's book yet because I'm not good at questing. But it's a pretty straight path. I went straight instead of diagonal. All that goes diagonal. Wait. Uh, this one kind of sucks. This is. Is that good enough? puzzle step. Hey, there we go. Uh, this one's overgrown aisles to this. Talking to the captain. Oh, I still have the... Ah, whatever. I forgot to put shit back. Oh well. We'll do that after this, because I'll probably stop the recording. Four, four, two. Captain Glenage. Lux, open it up, it automatically solves. You don't gotta hit anything. You just got these squares that are kind of just like getting larger and larger, showing you what to do. Anyway, I like this blue solver way more than the built in Alt 1 stuff. Uh, the built-in alt one stuff isn't bad. It's just uh, this just feels like it had a, a round of quality of life attached to it. Really nice. So I'm a huge fan. Anyway, yep, I will end it there. Oh, uh, I'll show my settings um, just in case. Um, I'm kind of a noob when it comes to blues, so I have all these things showing um, just because. Uh, I, I need it. I, I don't know who I'm talking to or I don't have er everything down yet. Um, the only thing that I have off is this clue map because on your uh, little X marks the spot clues, it kind of shows a huge ass map that covers all the steps and doesn't really work. Um, yeah, that's what I have for interface. And then the sliders, um, I think I just have default settings for the sliders. Um, definitely show recovery moves because I'm not that good. Um, and then I uh, uh, haven't really done any of these other ones because I haven't done Masters or Elites yet. Um, these teleports, this was important to configure. My Passage of the Abyss, you put in your specific Passage of the Abyss setup for what's in what order so that way it can tell you the proper keybinds. Which is really nice because you don't have to memorize your own passage. It'll just tell you, hey, uh, hit 3-2 for, um, I think that's Castle Wars um, for me. 
Uh, but yeah, if you put in your order for your passenger the abyss there, it'll tell you all your stuff correctly. Um, similarly, you can put in your favorites for fairy rings. This is the recommended hard clue setup, except for nine. Uh, apparently I'm missing an unlock for something. Um, so I swapped in my own that I find that I use semi-frequently. Um, but so it'll tell you your key binds for your fairy ring as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah. And so the only settings that I really mess with is this teleport and then this interface as far as what you want to show. Everything else is, I think I just left it defaults. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I love it a lot. Um, yeah, hope this helps.